Seems to be a timer based bomb. Get the fuck out of here then. That was simple. Thankfully, we came right then. Who knows what would have lasted if we stayed in there for 10 more seconds. is okay again. Now I just have to return to Jill and get her this vaccine and everything should be good. Apparently Nikolai really want to blow us up. No. Snakes and things crumbling around here. Last time there was a crumbling sound, I think it turned out to be Nemesis. It was in a different room though, so I guess Nemesis is probably around the at the moment. This is turning out better than I expected in our grand escape plan. Uh, yeah, escape plan. We are actually avoiding most threats pretty efficiently. Very little damage. Okay. There's something still above us because there's some dust clouds coming. So it's not going to try and break onto us. We'll have to find out. Probably in here. I mean, Nemesis, just watch. Transformed! Uh, probably don't want to face that though. So, Nemesis apparently didn't like his beatdown with Jill earlier and has transformed into a giant tentacle monster. To be expected. Out through here. Hopefully, I need to get to Jill first though and administer this vaccine. We can think more about how he's breaking out of fire later. You know. You think you could easily break into this room, though. But he's probably not going to, so that's what matters. Hey! Are you okay? Yes. Barely. What's going on? No way! That monster just doesn't give up! What? I thought we killed that thing! No, it's been waiting for you! Stars. He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. We got the virus administered somehow. Okay. I can roll with that. Well, for starters... Got a few things to put away and put in. Let's combine that with this. In fact, I'll try and make some more magnum rounds because I wasted so many on that last boss battle. I do kind of want to make a lot of magnum rounds. They're kind of incredibly useful. So, give me one. Let's quickly put this stuff together. Let's put... Not enough. Oh, you need three of these. I definitely have enough of this. I'll have to see if I have any more red stuff in a second. Combine this with that. Combine this with that. Do I have another red. Yes, there's one right there. Okay, perfect. Put that a little bit more up here that I didn't even see before. Where is the tool to combine them? Where do I put it? There it is. Reloading tool. Combine this with that, then combine this with this, combine this with that, and combine this here. More magnum rounds, then combine these with those, and hip hip hooray! Magnum rounds which we can use eventually whenever we need to. I put more around away at the moment. 
Magnum rounds there, switching tool there. I don't need my shotgun right now. I don't actually need my Magnum right now, but I do need some other things. Such as our magical, dagical green herbs. Though there's actually a first aid spray. It keeps on disappearing, which I'd rather have right now because I never seem to tell where it, uh, what it is. Oh, well, maybe it's just an invisible oil first aid spray. That's first aid spray. That's actually a first aid spray. I'll take the lockpick because we saw a lockpick me in the next scene. Star's card, which I still have for some reason. There's other stuff which I could use. I'm also going to save my game because I'm not an idiot. Something could happen. I could have to fight Nemesis, for example, again. Let's quickly use the old type fryer, save my progress here. Will I use an ink ribbon? Yes, right here, yes. Perfect, I'll put these away. I might need more in just a little bit, but regardless. Is there anything else I should pick? Nah, I just saved my game, I'll be okay. Hopefully these supplies will do me good. It's just hoping, of course, but yeah. Good old whipping there. That's why I'm breaking through here quickly. Nemesis is pretty pissed. I know where we're going though, which is the bright side. Not infected again, that's the bright side as well. So many twists and turns before we get right on out. Nemesis is very angry. Then I guess we did get rid of his nice coat. I'd be pretty angry if someone destroyed my nice coat. Wouldn't you guys be angry if someone destroyed your nice coat? I'm pretty sure you would be. Punch card now, we got a few more corners to turn here. I thought Nemesis might break through, especially with the lack of those monsters. Okay, good. That was so close. Regardless. I'm going to use my lockpick immediately to try this, though. Out. The music at least has stopped. Hopefully that means we've done enough to evade him. You used the lockpick. That's what I wanted to use this for, so let's break in through here. Imagine if I didn't bring the lockpick. That would have been problematic. And it's a save room. Nothing special. So we claim I should have waited to save. Regardless, we're here. Alright. There's a photograph here, I think. Photo E. The zombies are attacking. You don't say. Is this before you died? <laughs> we'll have keys here. This one looks important. Park key. Should have guessed. That is right next to where we are, so that makes a lot of sense. Seems to be broken. Are those grenade launcher rounds? Yeah, those are grenade launcher rounds. I will take those, thank you very much. Nothing special. Let's try these grenade launcher rounds. There are other grenade launcher rounds. Whenever we can locate those. There they are. Alright, put them back. We have a key. I think think we're okay on supplies? Hopefully. Back on out. We got a few zombies to avoid and we go inside the park, which has to be our next main location. Excuse me, Mr. Zambi. And other Mr. Zambi. There you go, see a successful evading. Raccoon Park. Use the park key. I'm actually kind of excited to go to the park, so yeah. I discard that and to the park we go. You know, just a night stroll in the middle of a storm as a giant tentacle monster chases us. There's some snakes. Oh, geez, they can actually hop up. I was about to say, hi, you can't get up here, but no, they can't. I guess I never really tried testing to see if they could hop up in these places or not. Kind of just looking around the perimeter to sort of see what sort of location we're looking at here. It looks nice, though. I'm actually looking forward to this <clears throat> aesthetically. Let's see if I can run down here before the snake comes and gets me. This looks like a door. I'll take it. It's a fountain. All those crow statues, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be seeing some crows pretty soon. The shape of the fountain changes based on the combination of years. I'm gonna take a screen cap of that. Wait, what did I just do? I reset the fucking. Okay, that's cool, me. I pressed the wrong thing. That's... I'm silly, though. I just saved. So that's the bright side. 
Excuse me, Zambi. Excuse me, second Zambi. And here we go, back to where we were regardless. Park, I will enter you. Let's grab the key, and to the park we go. Now, of course, these snakes are killer, it turns out, so we can just have to try and avoid them leaping out everywhere. If all the snakes are out of the lake, then maybe Jill should go back to the lake because the snakes are outside and Jill is inside. Take two at this attempt. Based on the combination of gears. Print screen. There you go. A control panel for the fountain. Will you open the lid? Sure. Oh, it's pretty simple. It's right here. Fountain. I need to figure out how this fountain exactly works. Guess I'm gonna hop down though. Hope there's not a lot of snakes down there. Guess we'll find out either way pretty shortly. Refer to the illustration to drain the pool. To black on top, white on bottom. Alright. Well, this is my first destination, so I guess it'll be the first thing I discard. Go down the fountain, open the lid. Opposite of what we have. Here we go, start. Pretty simple. Now then, let's see what's down this hole. I understand a little bit better now. We go down the ladder, that is why I drained the lake, so yeah. I... Down here we shall find... Sewer area, of course. What does this sign say? Nothing? Okay. I haven't got a bad feeling what might be inside the sewers, though. Nemesis. Oh, wait, no, it's not Nemesis. This is the worm if it's shaking that much. You climb up. Yep, that's the plan. So is the worm here. Cause that, the Nemesis and the worm are the two things I've seen so far that causes the earthquake. So I'm going to guess it's the worm, though. There's a longer shake, and it sounded like there was the worm sound. That's a zombie digging itself up in the grave. This is a cemetery. This is a cemetery. Here lies James Odo, in loving memory of his family. Kind of a cool scene, but regardless, I don't want to mess with it right now. It's locked. The sign reads Raccoon Park Cemetery. I need to find a lock. Maybe I should clear the area of zombies. Yeah, I should probably clear this area of zombies. It seems like I have to come back here, so I might as well just take care of the zombies while I can. One of those guys I don't think is dead. Yep, you're not dead. Didn't think so. You can't really tell if they're dropping blood here or not, but hopefully they are. Put that over there, and G.I. Yep, James Otto and his family. Read that before. Is there another gravestone here? Let's find out. Alfred Konas, 1923-1986. If I'm fast, I get out of here before all these zombies grow. Out of the ground. Red herb. Red herb. I'll just barge these two. They're not really blocking the way. Makes sense to me. Back on down for the moment, because there's nothing else for me to really do. Well, let's go. I will live in the sewers. Thank you for asking. Hello, snakes. Ignore them, and back in the sewer tunnels. Oh, more snakes have decided to live on me. Until there are no more snakes to try and suck the blood right out of me. Out we go. You got the ladder? Of course. 
Well, I know I need to come here when I eventually get a cemetery key now. That's good to know. I'll keep the red herbs on hand because I feel like I'm going to eventually find more green herbs. Yeah, you can find plants in a park. Of course, I should find another gear to figure out what I want to put on. Let's see what this does. It's the park map. Alright, alright. So, the, that would be the cemetery over there, I'm pretty sure, what I was just looking at. Or, no, that's the hospital. Okay, I see where this is. Comparatively, kind of big, kind of small. Taking the park map. What's over here? Please dump your trash in a trash can. That would keep the park nice and clean. Of course, there's all these herbs right here all of a sudden. I will take a green herb. And another green herb. And another green herb. Yes. Now, combine this with that, and combine this with that, and I'll take the two blue herbs. In fact, I haven't really needed blue herbs so far. They appear to be under construction beyond this point. I haven't even been poisoned once this whole game. I thought I was poisoned when I got the virus thing, but now that was just virus as a plot point. Alright, it would appear to be under construction beyond this point. Yes, that's what it says. Apparently the park was still an under construction sort of thing. Apparently. A few more gates to check out, though. But that was to the fountain, and I need other fountain combinations, so... Wish me luck in finding more. Not where I meant to go. Here we go to lake. I think it says lake by that. So to the lake we go, if that's actually where we're headed towards. It's like a bio. Good old marshlands. So, we're not alone. Not alone at all. I wish we were more alone than we are right now, actually. Out through here. With a single pistol with only a few bullets, I'm not going to take on two fucking blue hunters and then I'm going to call them telling you really know what's going on with them. Oh fuck, it's Huntersville. I should have figured because we just met hunters, honestly. Oh, really? Those two hunters can hurt you quickly. I'll keep in mind they're there now. Not to mention I don't have to go to the cemetery first, so I guess I can hold off going there. That's not fun. Hopefully we can predict the enemies there. That means not unpredictable. He worked exactly how he worked the previous times. If anything, that was super predictable. Sometimes he's got a randomization thing, but he also seems fairly scripted in a lot of scenarios. So I'm use the key, dismount the key, dis dismount. Discard the key. He's very keen, though, in many ways. You know these giant snake monsters? They're not giant snakes, but they're bigger than normal snakes. They might actually be leeches, I'm able to quite put that together. Can't leave till that thing's done. Alright. Time for the test. How do hunters work against a shotgun? It's for science. They attack so fast. Two shotgun blasts with these blue ones. Am I sure they're dead? I'm not sure, to be fair. But it seems to be dead. They're a bit more persistent in attacking this game than they are in some of the other Resident Evil games, but they're, those are pretty doable. Good to know those blue guys are dead. I'll be dot a blue up in blue. I just want the pathway back to be safe. Hunters are pretty deadly. I know there's at least two hunters in here. There's an explosive barrel, but I don't want to risk it. Nothing's the kind of fast. Not dead yet. So they're not that strong against the shotgun. It's two shotgun blast, and this is on hard difficulty. So yeah, honestly, pretty doable. With the pistol, I might have had some difficulties, and they're fast, and they can definitely just unload. <gasps> Didn't expect there to be a third one. Was worth it. I'm gonna pretend that was worth it. Just make myself not cry. He appears to have been shot to death. 
That is unfortunate. Is there anything shiny? Yes, something shiny in his hand. You'll take the park key. Yes. If I observe this, this is for the cemetery. He is holding something. Written order to the supervisors. Mission requirements, Bravo 16, 1. Obtain and secure a sample of all the information pertaining to this case. Observe and record combat data on the UBCS. Combat data. That up again? Resident Evil loves its combat data, apparently. Destroy all evidence, including the medical facility that has the medical treatment data. 3. Check the guinea pig's ability to accomplish the mission. Once your mission is complete, uh, evacuate the area. Remember that you must not help anyone who is not a supervisor, nor bring anything back that might be traced to where it belongs. Taking a random order. Alright. Check the key. It's a key given from the merc- it's a key given from a mercenary. It says Raccoon Park Graveyard. So it's the key for that very graveyard I was just at. I'll keep my shotgun pulled down in case anything else goes wrong. Anything through here? No, nothing here at the very least. This guy has on him Magnum bullets. Worth it. I hear something. It's the rear gate of the Raccoon Park. It's locked. So we have to get another key. Okay. Probably good I took care of those hunters then. And inside the trash can, actually. No? Alright. I kind of like the aesthetics of this park area, but I think, like. Okay, yeah, those are the dead hunters. I got myself afraid there for a moment. Through and through. Still got more areas to check out. Hopefully, I'm hoping I can actually find a save room pretty soon. But we know what to do with this next area. To the top. I'm going to take the top half because snakes can't hop this high. To the bottom. Through the door. To the fountain now. That should be, I believe, two white on top. No, two white on bottom, two black on top. Here's the map of the area. Harp map. Works as it works. All these green herbs. Yes. Make an army of green herbs as I am doing at this very moment. Honestly, I don't need these blue herbs right now. I haven't been poisoned from anything, so I think I'll be okay. Control panel for the drain. We open the lid. Yes. And start. Yep, that'll drain the pool here. Fantastic. Or if I want to go all Garcia Hotspur, Magnifico! I'm not going to yell that out right now, though. It's like, what, 11 o'clock at night where I am? Anyways, down the ladder we go, where we can ourselves have a fun time playing around the sewers. Hey, kids! Want to be babysat? Maybe I should set up the adults. Send your kids off to the good old sewers, where they should have a fucking bundle of fun. I don't know what's in that sewer. Oh, look, there's some snakes. That's okay. Go through the ladder? Yes, I will. I'm also going to go pick up those red herbs because red herbs are a treat? Something like that. Zombies will rise from the glaive. Try to be as fast as I can to pick up these two red herbs. Will I take a red herb? Yes. Will I take a red herb? Yes. Now I'll try and be as fast about this as possible. That worked. Surprisingly well, actually. One of these zombies again rises from the grave. I might have to have a struggle out here, but it worked for the moment. You use the graveyard key. No longer need this key. I'll discard it. Sure. It's going through. Please be a save room. This might be a save room. It's kind of hard to tell right now. Put that with this and this with that. Eh, it looks like a save room ish type area. There's a few things around here, actually. What are you? Maintenance tools are placed here. Will you take the iron pipe? Yes. I'm not sure what that's actually for. Maintenance tools are placed here. Is there a save area in this area? No. This is unfortunate if this is actually the case. All right. So I want to take gunpowder B over here with gunpowder A. Combine these two together and we get that. 
I'm actually gonna use a fucking herb, a regular one right now, to put myself on okay health. Desert alcohol beverages, then take gunpowder B. Combine it with gunpowder A. Cool and cool. Now combine this with that, and combine this with that, and there you go. Anything else through here? There's firewood, which could catch on fire. Wind is blowing in from the back of the fireplace. I wonder what that's supposed to imply. Unfortunately, I need an uh, item box nearby. Desert alcohol and beverages. Yeah, hopefully this is a save room. Here's really hoping that there's a save room nearby, so I have to backtrack a lot just to find something. Thank God. All right, so take up the first aid spray. Yes. There's a few things I want to accomplish here. First of all, I don't need all this healing stuff. Put the magnum stuff with my magnum bullets. Except I do have a second idea, which I'm just going to do briefly here. Where's the other yellow powder? I'm happy I didn't turn this into anything earlier. Where is my conversion tool? There it is. And combine this with that, and combine this with this, and combine this with this for even more magnum bullets! I'm gonna be fucking magnum raining when we get to the end of the game. Yes! Anyways, ignoring the fact that magnum rain is a thing, I'm going to put my shotgun away. I was helpful in the last scenario, but yeah. Two healing items should be good. I obviously need to pull out my lighter. Lighter. Because I have explored most of the park, I got a bad feeling here. Uh, let's do what I do. Just in case, I'll equip. Not to mention, I don't exactly know. I mean, how does this work differently than a mine? I guess for science, I'll equip. Where is it? The mine thrower and my mine thrower rounds. Outside of this, I'll also equip some ink ribbons. And let's save my game. Try out pumpkins are placed here. And the Halloween spirit, indeed. Is there anything else through here? There's a first aid spray right there. There's probably nothing else that direction. Let's save. An old typewriter. Right? Save your progress here. We use, use ink ribbon. Yes. Right there. Now put these away. And if I'm carrying the Ron Arsenal for this, then I can always load back here. Of course. Uh, <clears throat> use the lighter here. Use. Nice homely fire. We could just move the wood out of the way, but whatever. You no longer need the lighter. Will you discard it? Oh, but it's such a Resident Evil classic item, but sure. <clears throat> I like any scene from the back of the fireplace. Alright, don't, don't. Is there a. What? Why do we clear? Well, I don't understand. Wait, yes I do. The pole, right. The pole has been used. All right, let's see what's through here. Through the grating of the fireplace, a secret room. Will you take the ink ribbons? Why not? Add to my ink ribbon collection here. What are these? It's set to auto receive mode. There is a body there. It doesn't look like it's going to be coming back alive anytime soon because it looks like it's painted. Here's a note Facts from the HQ. Attention, the Raccoon City project has been abandoned. Our, poli our political maneuvering in the Senate to delay their plans are now futile. All supervisors should evacuate immediately. The U.S. Army is going to execute their plan tomorrow morning. The city will be obliterated at daybreak for sure. You're taking the facts from HQ. There's our first sign that things are going to go very wrong at the day, at, well, tomorrow morning. 
Supervisor's report. The endurance ability of this contaminated guinea pig is truly incredible. Even when shot in a vital area, they can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the virus, the guinea pig's intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving the dead, reviving dead indeed, seems too disgusting, the virus may still be of use. If we inject the virus into our POWs, like POW blocks, and release them, they would return to their units and then turn into zombies. This plan may work well for us in the future. In certain areas, the virus seems to have caused the mutation of animals and plants. It may be difficult, but it will make a good sample for the big weapon or for bioweapon development. I've heard that there is a giant alligator, but I have only encountered a giant creature moving underground. I don't even want to imagine what creatures spawn that monster. Or, yeah, what could just find that monster? Okay. I encountered Nemesis. If I didn't know about it, I'd have been contaminated and would have been one of them by now. If it's still walking around in the city, its mission is not yet over. Stars members must be very tough uh, since they have survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. You've taken the supervisor's report. Quite a few hints there about plot development. Ooh, grenade launcher rounds. I will take them. I need to go back to that save room pretty shortly. Anything else here for me? Like, what's this? Let me take park key. Probably for the other side of the park. Check. A small key with an iron ring attached to it. It says rear gate on the ring. Alright. A few more things to maybe do, not do. Auto recover mode. Okay, I got a few more things to deposit, obviously, from this room. All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors, return immediately. Over. They said Nikolai was a supervisor. He said earlier, I'm a supervisor to Carlos. So obviously, yeah. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted a detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Oh. Another mutant! So I don't think that's Nemesis. It has to be the giant worm. Alright, let me get myself prepared. I always don't need these ink ribbons. I got my ink ribbon collection. <sighs> Do I think I'll need anything else? In case this turns out to be a fluke, I use the last of my shotgun. Grab some stuff around the arena. I'll keep my eyes out. Oh, I'll save my grenade launcher till a bit later there, so I'm not going to worry on that. Did I have more grenade launcher rounds than that? Oh, wait, right. Last time I didn't pick up any. I'm not gonna save my game again though, because I'm silly. If I die, I'm gonna probably regret because I have to go pick up everything again. But I don't have to read the stuff again. And it's literally just right over there, so whatever. Here's hoping I don't die. Let's hopefully do this to this, and I hope I know how to use the fucking mind thrower. And hopefully these two healing items are good enough. Actually, I should go for one now. Nah, whatever, I'll try this for once. Just to kind of test things out. I have no idea how the mind throw works. Let's figure it out. Combine this with the mind thrower. 
Just want to not dig after it. This is one tough. Well, okay, one. So it's just like a missile rod, a launcher here. So over here, wait for it to dig up from the underground. Big circular arena, though. I'm dead. Should have had more. I should have paid attention to my health there. Power of the mind throw seems like it's a good idea. Just that it's on hard difficulty, so he's gonna have a lot of health regardless. I should maybe equip something else just in case. Uh, the shotgun's probably not a bad idea. I'm not so much have my handgun if it absolutely comes down to it. And I can not miss a few shots. All right, I think I can do this. Cutscene skip. It's time to come on out. Keep my tabs on my health. There you go. Just make sure that doesn't happen again. Down here. Combine this with that, and okay. I need to three times. I think one is three in attempts. At that time I was a little bit too close to him, so he went in for a fourth time. Now I should be popping out. Still on fine health. Now the different poles are like, nope. That's gonna try me about three, four, maybe five times. He's really trying to dig now. He's out. Not really love this and that, and he knocked it down successfully. I'm on a lower caution. I'll use this just to be on the safe side. I'll be a little bit pre-cautious because he's literally right there. He got electrocuted, good. And somehow knocked this down to climb. Okay, well that works all right. I could escape by climbing this fence. It is an idea, will you climb the fence? Yes. Mine throw is successful. Spiders, surprisingly enough. Avoid spiders on a grand escape out of here because I'm not using my fucking mind throw. That would be kind of a satisfying to shoot spiders with a mind thrower. I don't want to waste my ammo on these. They're really easy to avoid as they are. Climb out. We use ladder. Yes. Now then, the grand escape plan is pretty simple actually. Climb out through here. I'm gonna just have to deal with this as we go. Up here. 